Do you have a secret dream that you've always wanted to achieve, but you just can't seem to make it happen? Does it feel impossible to you, like too far out of reach? Well, the first and most important step may be a lot simpler than you think. Keep watching to learn what it is and how to take it now. Hey, it's Marie, and welcome to another episode of the Marie Forleo Podcast on Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and life you love. So today I have a simple but super important question for you. In fact, when you answer this question, you'll have taken one of the first and most powerful steps towards achieving any big goal. You ready for it? All right, so here it is. What is your biggest dream. I'm serious. Like, what is the biggest and most important dream in your heart right now? I'm not talking about something that you kind of want, like a new pair of boots or something that might be nice to have, like that vintage couch. No, no, no. I want to know what you dream about in your heart. Like, that dream that you're almost too scared to tell anybody else about, right? The one that maybe even makes you afraid to admit it to yourself. And I want you to also ask yourself this, like how might your life be different if that dream actually came true? So I'm gonna go first and share one of mine. So ever since I was a little girl, the dream I had in my heart was living a life that was full of freedom in every single sense of that word. So. I knew in my bones that I wanted to be financially free, right? I wanted to live with zero debt and to get so good with my money that I never had to worry about money again. I knew I wanted to be creatively free. So as a kid, I dreamed of being an artist and a teacher and a dancer and a model and a writer and an animator for Disney. I did not want to be confined to doing one job or having just one career because I'm multi-passionate. And I also wanted location freedom. I wanted to live where I wanted to live and get to travel and spend time with people I love. And I wanted the freedom to use my God-given gifts in a unique way to somehow make a difference to other people. So in my early years, right after college, all of that felt so far away, impossible at times. But I was always clear on my dream, in my heart. And I gotta tell you, I never stopped working towards that life that I knew I was meant to live. So that was my biggest dream. And actually saying it out loud, admitting it to myself, writing it down and staying focused on it, that was step number one in order for me to make that dream my reality. And that's why it's so important, as soon as you're done with this episode, for you to answer those questions for yourself. Now, obviously, we can't just stop there, right? Of course not. I certainly didn't. In fact, in my journey, the whole vehicle that helped me achieve all of my freedom-based dreams and then some was actually starting my own online business. Now, I started this way back in the day in the year 2000 before anyone had even heard of such a thing. It was not mainstream back then. But if starting or growing your own business is one of your biggest dreams in your heart, I want you to know something. I can help with that. But before I tell you how, I actually want you to hear a really powerful story. Because whether your dream is anything like mine or not, the one thing I do know for sure is that most of us, no matter what our dream is, can often feel like we don't have what it takes to achieve it. We worry that we weren't born in the right place or we don't have the right connections or we don't have the right skills or the right support or enough resources or time or money or whatever. Or worse, we worry that if we really go for it, we put ourselves out there, that we might fail. I mean, am I right? Yes, of course. That's why no matter what your dream is, I want you to hear this quick story about a young woman in a remote corner of the world who had practically no material resources and very limited opportunities. And yet, she dared to dream big. And here's what she wants you to know. Hello, my name is Bointak Tosquator. I was born in the western part of Mongolia in uh, ordinary herd of family. My parents are nomadic herders and I grew up surrounded by animals such as goats, sheep, calves and horses. Before taking B school, my life was very hard and dull. I was a full-time mom looking after my son 24-7. My husband was working for a company and his salary was not enough for the three of us. We were renting a 390 square feet room and had no furniture at all. Even if I planned to do office work, there was no kindergarten where my son was able to go. Finally, we decided to go to the countryside and help my parents to look after sheep and goats. 
The worst part is that I was almost giving up my dream. But fortunately, at the same time, Marie Forleo showed up and announced B-School. For two months, I took B-School lessons while carrying my baby. I always get up at 5 o'clock and watch my B-School video lessons before my husband left for work. Those two months were the most productive time in my whole life. When I first started the program, I had a Facebook page with 19,000 followers. Today, that page has almost 400,000 followers. Over the past few years, I became a certified holistic nutritionist, best-setting author, yoga teacher, and naturopath. My husband and I started a vlog channel, and our content reaches 3 million people in Mongolia. This is a huge number for us, as the Mongolian population is only 3.5 million. I've been named one of the 10 most positive social influencers in Mongolia and was invited to a number of TV shows and as a guest speaker for various events. Last year, my family became the best family in Mongolia by Mongolian National Broadcast TV. I launched my first online course and within 7 days, 2,100 people bought our course. I used all the marketing methods taught in the B-School. Now, over 15,000 people enrolled our health course for the past 5 years. I wrote a healthy lifestyle book and it became instant number one bestseller in Mongolia. We have built our gorgeous home at the most beautiful scene near lake. Now we have an actual home for the first time after 8 years of marriage. We even bought a car and traveling with my kids. Most importantly, I started my dream project to help nomadic girls who live in the countryside. A year ago, I officially organized the Nomads Family English Speaking Club in our village and is still teaching girls English language. It is the first time in my country's history and I'm planning to organize it in all the villages in Mongolia. This is my lifelong dream I have kept in my heart for so long. Now it is becoming reality. I'm living in my dream house with my gorgeous family and with my dream life. I want to say thank you so, so much for Marie Farleo and Tim Farleo for giving me this opportunity to follow my dream. I can't imagine my life without you and B-School. Thank you so much. Pretty inspiring, right? And she is no different than you or me. I mean, she had this big dream that seemed impossible. In fact, people around her even told her it was. But she stayed true to her heart, right? And with grit and so much determination, she took action. She put herself in the right environment to get the right support and the knowledge that she needed to make her big dreams come true. So Buyan Tak is a B-Schooler, and she's one of over 80,000 people that I've helped start and grow their business. So B-School is legendary for a reason. It is also brand new this year. That means that every single aspect has been rebuilt and recreated from the ground up to get you better results even faster. So if you want my help to bring your dream business to life, go check out joinbschool.com slash enroll and do it now because enrollment is closing very soon, no matter what. I want you to know that I will always be your dream champion. So once again, I'm going to ask you this question. What is that big dream in your heart? What is the biggest and most scary and exciting and exhilarating vision that you want to bring to life? I want you to let me know in the comments below. I promise you that dream is there on purpose. You would not have the dream in your heart if you didn't already have what it takes to make it happen. So. If you love this episode, guess what? You need to subscribe so you don't ever miss a thing. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, subscribe to the podcast too because it's awesome. Until next time, stay on your game and keep going for your big dreams because the world really does need that very special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Hey, are you ready to bring your dream business to life? Is it finally time to make the difference you were born to make? Good, because we can help. Get started now at joinbschool.com.